Question 29 was from the sports medicine option. And looking at question A, the question asks us to identify an example of an injury that reflects each of the injury classifications. So some key parts here for this question is going to be identify. Must have an example in the answer of some form of an injury that reflects each of the different types of classifications for injuries. The question is worth three marks. Pretty straightforward question. Most students should be able to perform this quite well. If we just have a quick look from the syllabus and whereabouts this question would be coming from, we'd be looking at, at the top here, the first dot point for sports medicine, ways to classify sports injuries, direct, indirect, soft and hard, and overuse injuries. So they're the five that need to be included in your answer. If we have a, a look here at, at a very good answer from a student, which have been able to achieve a three out of the three, you'll see again, the dot point written up the top. Stands out, knows exactly what you need to talk about. We've got direct injury, with the example that goes with it. Indirect injury, an example that goes with it. Soft tissue, an example that goes with it. Hard tissue, an example that goes with it. Overuse, an example that goes with it. Okay, again, very, very good setting out. Very good answer, straightforward, straight to the point. Hasn't wasted any space or time on this. Clear, examples include exactly as the question asked. Hence the three out of three, it's a very good response. If we just have a quick look at the marking guidelines for this question, just some things to notice here. All right, so all injury classification, classification will get you a three out of three. And again, just some suggested responses here for a direct injury, shoulder dislocation. Indirect injury, a sprinter tearing, a hamstring. Soft tissue injury, sprains, strains, dislocation, tears. Hard tissue injury, a dislodging of a tooth, fracturing a bone. Overuse injuries, shin splints or stress fractures. So again, there's some more examples, and that's again the way of structuring your answer. Just some of the general feedback from our questions here was that, again, from all candidates, this question was answered very well, and most students were able to receive full marks, as we would expect. The, quest the question required an, an identification of an example of an injury across each of the injury classifications, direct, indirect, overuse, soft, and hard tissue. Examples in this instance need to be clear and not ambiguous. What I mean by ambiguous is that they, they had to be Definite. They had to be a definite answer or an example. So, for example, an, in, an indirect injury equals broken clavicle. Unfortunately, for this example, it does not clearly illustrate that you have an understanding of how an indirect injury occurs and more information is required. Example would be indirect injury, broken clavicle as a result of falling on outstretched arm in basketball because we know that for an indirect injury, the point of impact is away from the injury site. The better response was identified clear and relevant examples as we saw with, the, with that previous example and previous answer. Okay, so students need to be really careful how they gave their example and structured for this, this question, but overall, the question was done quite or performed quite well by all students.